A waterfall mm-hmm. and a river. Describe to me this waterfall. Three mountains. Mm-hmm. It's the river more. The water's flowing. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to be by this river and waterfall? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's full. How do you feel the temperature in this place? Use all of your senses. What's it feel? Comfortable. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you smell anything? Roses. Mm-hmm. So let's find out where those roses are. I'd like for you to scan the area and tell me where does it come from? Just roses comes. Mm-hmm. I can't see them. So when you're in this place, do you feel that you have a body? Yes. All right. So look down at your feet. Do you see anything there? No. No. So I'd like for you now to use your conscious mind to find these roses. Use your senses and just glide along this beautiful stream of scent. And use all of your knowing to find the origin of the smell of the roses. Allow yourself to glide with the scent. And tell me where you go. What do you imagine? Pain in my left side. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel pain in my left. Mm Mm-hmm. Let's find out what that is. I keep thinking of gross. Mm-hmm. Take yourself there. Take yourself to that rose. Close the scene and be at this place with the rose. And tell me what's your experience. Pain on my left, my knee. Mm-hmm. It's a woman. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. She's a woman I've met recently here. Mm-hmm. That I have this undeniable connection with. She's like a grandmother. Mm -hmm. Describe what you are seeing or imagining. Now I just feel orange and see orange. Mm -hmm. The pain's gone. Tell me more what comes next. the next thing that comes into your mind? It's blank. It's just Mm -hmm. orange and yellow. All right. So let's focus on that orange and yellow. Tell me what it looks like. Does it have movement? Does it have a shape? It's just surrounded me. Mm Mm-hmm. So as it surrounds you, I want you to use your senses. What does it feel like to be in this yellow and orange? What emotions or thoughts come into your mind? I'm scared. Pain, Mm -hmm. really stabbing pain in my left shoulder. Mm Mm-hmm. So let's find out the origin of it. Oh, my head. Mm Mm-hmm. See yourself there. Let's find out the origin of that pain. Be there now. What do you imagine? They're hurting me. Mm-hmm. My left elbow. Tell me more. Who are they? I don't know. People. Look at your, yourself. Imagine yourself in a mirror. What do you look like? Brown hair and 
blue eyes comes to me. Brown hair and blue eyes. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? Male. Mm-hmm. How old do you feel there? Thirty. How are you dressed? I don't know why a long white dress came in. Mm-hmm. Do you have a long white dress on? Mm-hmm. Use all of your senses. How are they hurting you? I can't see. I just feel my elbows in pain. Mm-hmm. Inside, so, like inside. a needle. All right, so let's use, don't use your sight. I want you to use your knowing and just know what it is that they're doing to you. Injecting me. Mm-hmm. Injecting me. I feel like I'm inside an asylum. Mm-hmm. Is that what the long white dress is? Mm, I think so. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Blonde hair, blue eyes just keeps calling out. They just hear those words. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Let's find out Grandmother. how... Grandmother. Grandmother. That keeps coming in. Mm-hmm. When I ask your name, what comes up? Mary. Mm-hmm. Mary? Mary, what are you doing there in this place? I've been put in here. Why is that? People put me in here. Who are these people? Mary, were these family, or are these other people that put you in this place? Yes, family. Mm-hmm. What are they doing to you now, Mary? Why are they injecting you? <sighs> you don't have to feel any discomfort. You can view it from I beyond. Don't know why I met this lady. Mm-hmm. I thought she was Mary Magdalene. Mm-hmm. And a psych ward in Henry Bennett in New Zealand when I put myself in there. Mm-hmm. I don't know why she keeps coming through now. Mm-hmm. I want you to go as ahead and just absorb yourself into this lifetime. Oh. And when you feel discomfort, just view it as an outsider. Pain in my right shoulder. Mm-hmm. So allow that discomfort to just melt away and just observe. What's causing this sh- shoulder discomfort? Take a look. She feels I don't believe her. Mm-hmm. I'll trust her, but she's crazy. So what are they doing to the arm? That's cool. Mm -hmm. So Mary, I'd like for you to close the scene and we're going to go to before the time you were in this asylum. I want you to close it and we're going to go back in time, drifting and floating, to see what event happened to cause you to go to this place. Be there now. In a room, in a house, an mm-hmm. old, old house, like a farmhouse. Mm-hmm. Four-posted bed. Like white enamel on the posts, metal posts with gold and bars, laying in a bed. What's wrong with you, Mary? With a baby. Mm-hmm. Pregnant with a baby. How old are you there? Twenty-three. Are you by yourself or the others? I don't want this baby because it's going to be evil. Bad, bad baby. What's wrong with this baby? It's Why is it evil? evil? It's evil. Mm-hmm. How do you know it's evil? I just know. I can't have it. So what happens? Well, I'm going to get rid of it. Tell me how you do that, Mary. Stab it. 
Mm -hmm. Tell me what, how you stabbed this baby. How do you stab the baby? I don't want to do it. What happens? Tell me what you're doing, Mary. Oh, my left hand hurts. Mm -hmm. A letter opener. Mm -hmm. What do you do with this letter opener? Pierce my belly mm -hmm. on the left. What happens next? I see blood everywhere. I feel it. Life leaving. Mm -hmm. I feel sad. But it had to be done. What happens next? They come and take me. Mm -hmm. Who's, who comes and takes you? The doctor. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? It's so hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. Where do you go, Mary? Inside. Dark room. Tell me more. What's happening to you in that dark room? Talk to me, Mary. I can't say much more. Mm -hmm. Can I please go to the toilet? I'm going to tap your fore and your <clears throat> your shoulder. You can open your eyes then, and then you'll come back to the same spot. Eyes open. And tell me when you are back at that scene. The last thing was Mary was in that dark room. I don't want to go there. I want to go back to the bed. Mm-hmm. So in let's, the farmhouse. Mm-hmm. So let's go back to that. Take a deep breath in. And be there now. Let's find out what's going on there. Look all around Mary. I feel at peace. Mm hmm You feel at peace? Yeah, like happier. Mm hmm Tell me what's happened. I feel like I just want like I have a baby in my hand and my arm. Mm-hmm. And that I've learned. And that I look at it with love and that I feel the beauty. So I want you to look inside of that baby's eyes. Holding it. Look at your baby's eyes, the eyes of the windows of your soul, and tell me if you recognize those eyes. The name, madam, it just keeps coming out. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I'd like for you to close that scene and go now to another scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening. Be there now and tell me where you are. I don't want to, I'm just still here. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's important about this scene?
What are you feeling from this? I'm feeling confused. I'm feeling this is my mother holding me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm looking through her eyes down at me. Mm -hmm. And apologizing for mm -hmm. everything. So let me speak with Judy now. I'm going to count from one to three and speak with Judy. One, two, and three. Hello, Judy. How are you today? Sad. Good. Mm -hmm. Judy, what's happening? Why are you showing Marama this life? Because I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Judy, did you try to get rid of this baby? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happened? When she left, she came back. Mm -hmm. She left the first time, didn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this time it was successful, wasn't it? It was. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell your daughter now? I'm sorry and I love you. Mm -hmm. So tell me how this has affected her. How has this abortion affected your daughter's life? She's felt disconnected and unworthy and mm -hmm. alone. Judy, why did you leave her so early? Because she needed to be strong. Mm -hmm. Did you have a contract with her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that contract? What was it all about? To teach her to stand on her own two feet. Mm -hmm. If she can do it. That she has all she needs within her. What else would you like to tell her today? Yeah, I love you. Do you have any advice for her? Go forth with your dreams. Continue on your path. Is there anyone else that helps her at this time besides you? Her partner does. He looks after her, Robin does. Mm hmm He's a good spirit. Mm hmm Well, let me have her speak with you. Speak with your mother. What would you like to tell her? I love her. And that I forgive her. Mm-hmm. I've always seen her like. So let's get rid of all of this that you have inside. I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give for me all of those feelings that you've been holding for all of those years from before this lifetime. Be able to forgive your mother and pull out from every cell of your being any pain that she has caused you. Pull that out. Give it to me. I'm going to send it to the universe for healing. Tell me what you have. All of it out. All of that anger out. Mm -hmm. All of that pain. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. Don't leave anything there. The distrust. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. The confusion. Don't leave anything inside. Tell me when I have all of it. Mm-hmm. Pull all of the emotions out first, and we'll deal with the darkness later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's pull what we can out, send it all out. And now let's put a very, very big spotlight in there. Let's fill it with lots of light. Because you cannot take out darkness, you can only lighten it. So feel all of that light coming in through your body. And that light brings with it all that love, all of the confidence, all of the joy, knowing that this was a contract to make you stronger. 
and that you're there. Feel it coming in, stronger and stronger, going through every cell of your body and beyond. I'm going to seal that so it doesn't go away. What else would you like to put in that space? Love. Mm -hmm. Let's put a fire hose of love in there. Feel it going into your heart, pumping into every cell of your body. Worthiness. Mm -hmm. Let's put lots of worthiness in there. The strength and courage. Mm -hmm. Strength and courage. Feel it going in. Anything else? Let's put beautiful flowers in there. Lots of flowers to make you happy. What else? How does that feel? It's very good. Mm -hmm, very good. So Judy, is there anything else you would like to tell your daughter at this time? Hmm. No, but then three grow can help her to watch the birds mm -hmm. and nature mm -hmm. to continue. To continue. Are there any birds that come to her that <clears throat> are guides for her? All of them, the eagles, the mm -hmm. hawks, the mm -hmm. dove, is really prominent. What do they represent in her life? Strength and perception. She sees mm -hmm. all. She sees everything. Wonderful. Judy, is there anybody else there that would like to speak with her at this time? Grandpa comes to me. Mm -hmm. Would you allow us to speak with Grandpa at this time? Yes. Thank you. Judy, thank you very much. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Let's speak with Grandpa now. Good morning, Grandpa. Uh -huh. What would you like to tell this beautiful woman here today, your granddaughter? Be with love and go with love. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for her? Condition. Unconditional, to walk in unconditional love, mm. to keep doing that. Very good. So, Madam, what would you like to tell your grandfather? Thank you for your teachings and lessons. Mm -hmm. Thank you for speaking to me, coming to me in my... in my dreams and my words, mm -hmm. in my knowing. Wonderful. Is there anything else, Grandpa, you would like to tell her? No. Thank you. May the light of the universe accompany you. Are there any others that would like to speak here today? Who comes to mind? Is Dad here today? Grandma's here. Grandma's. Dulcie. Mm-hmm. Dulcie. Can you tell me why you're here today? To urge her to go to her homelands and learn. Mm -hmm. To walk in her knowledge of her... her whakapapa, her genealogy, to not be afraid of what she sees and feels and hears. To not worry about being judged for all that she has and to know that she's supported and she's protected. And she to just continue on her path, she's doing a great job. Wonderful. How many are helping her with this path from your side? Many, many, many. Mm -hmm. Is there something that she needs to learn in particular when she goes back to her homeland? Kirkaha to stand in her truth. She's 
pure intentions and to just to do it with love to continue was it isn't it true grandma that she does everything with love already yeah mm-hmm but to not waver, not waver from her path. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there anything that you would like to tell your grandmother? I love her. I knew, I knew who she was and how good she was and she had such goodness in her. And I hold her in my heart. Very good. So, Dulce, is there anything else you would like to tell her? Pete's here. Mm hmm. Can we speak with Pete? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Dulce. May the light of the universe always accompany you. May I speak with Pete, please? Good morning. What would you like to tell Marma? Walking your knowing. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to tell her? That Kane and Chloe are going to be fine and they'll always be fine. That I'm with you all. Because I always have been and always will be. Anything else you would like to tell her? I'm in everything that surrounds you and I'm a part of you. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Marama, would you like to tell Pete? I love you, Papa. And I found the tribe. <laughs> I found home. Very good. Take a deep breath in, Pete. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And now I'd like for you to connect with your higher self, that voice within. Do I have permission to speak with your higher self? Yes. Thank you very much. I know you could have shown Marama many different lifetimes today, but you chose to show her how she was born in this one. Why did you choose that instead of a past life? What do you want to tell her with that? To show her the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. What is the bigger picture? That there's a reason for everything and every experience. That we're all divinely connected. That each moment we experience, we create. So it seems that there were there was a different timeline there can you explain what that timeline was that shift where in one life there was an insane asylum and then we shifted to another timeline can you explain what that was all about that's duality mm -hmm. can you tell me more about that that you can change mm -hmm. that you can change any path in any time, in any dimension, mm -hmm. you can go back and recreate and rechange the path and heal and heal on all levels and all rounds mm -hmm. and always, always that you, we all, we can all do this. Mm -hmm. So in this instance, she changed the outcome. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Was there someone else that was perhaps affecting her mother? 
Yes, like an interference. Mm -hmm. Was that an entity that had yes. taken over? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that entity was actually in the insane asylum? Yeah. And, and connected with her mother to cause this? Has that entity of Mary gone? Or is she affecting this life at all? Mary was mm -hmm. a girl mm -hmm. that Marama met when she admitted herself to Henry Bennett. Mm -hmm. There was three people in the high security. Mm -hmm. She went home to New Zealand to see her adoptive parents and create change mm -hmm. and forgiveness, but there was no support. Things came up, she put herself on a home, and then when she admitted into the psych ward, mm -hmm. the nurses' names were Pat and Bill, the same as her adopted parents. The woman that she observed in the cell next to her was called Mary, and she said she kept talking about Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. There was another man there talking about something, and they were writing, and she, Marama was just exhausted. She slept. She wrote on the wall, she wrote, she drew flowers and poetry and she just sat and observed everyone in this home, in this mental home. And because of her family not supporting her, Pat and Willie, because of the system and the failures in the hospital, mm -hmm. it's like she was put there to see what really happens. Mm -hmm. She got out, she used her wits. Mm -hmm. She called in a psychotherapist, a lawyer, a Tibetan monk, and she came in and they, Marama was persecuted for helping people because mm -hmm. she, she could see the inconsistencies in the system and they didn't like that. Mm -hmm. That lady kept talking about Mary Magdalene Before Peter died, Marama was writing for hours on end and then she got a phone call that he'd passed away. Some of the things she wrote was her lineage and her line and where she'd come from. Who was giving her that information? Was that you, her higher self? Or did I come from somewhere else? I keep hearing Mary Magdalene keeps coming through. She couldn't, she, she drew and wrote letters and symbols that came, that we all came from that one source, well, that one source of love. It was, it was you, it was the higher self. Mm -hmm. She was a bit scared. She took photos of stuff and Peter and people weren't there to talk to that understood her, so she's, covered it, she's held stuff, she's hidden it. She wrote a book of writing she gave to a guy five years ago because she didn't feel safe with the stuff and the knowledge that she had. She felt scared. Then she got flown to New Zealand and then she's been on the path to, to gain her strength and now she feels it's safe to write and, and to, that she's protected. Mm -hmm. and that she can be herself and, and share the love and the knowledge. So what is this writing supposed to do for mankind? I don't know. It's like symbols. Mm -hmm. Some of it she thought was Japanese. Mm -hmm. It's a mixture. She keeps seeing that. She sees the connections in everything. She sees the connections... It's hard to describe. She often talks about it being like a symphony. Floating mm -hmm. around her, she sees sounds. She sees people. Sh she sees images. She just knows. She mm -hmm. just knows everything's connected and it's meant to be that way. She knows how it will play out. She sees it in the future, in the past, in the present. She just It's like she's sitting, floating there, and she can just... See how it's all going to come to play. She has no fear because she just knows that everything's going to be 
with love that everyone's going to come together she knows this in every part of her being she she sees it she sees the light I think she's always guessed about her name and she's finally come to realize it is illumination that mm -hmm. we're here she's here to illuminate people's paths and help them and and to connect them because there is no disconnection mm -hmm. that we are all unified and when you come to that point of disconnection you get so dark and low that you know that all you have is this connection to yourself, to mm -hmm. the higher self, to the source, that it has always been here and always will be. It's in everything. It's the ether. It's all that surrounds us. So is that the purpose she came here for? Yeah, she just keeps writing about this, mm -hmm. her poetry and her words. Illumination yeah, and connection. Yeah, yeah, that we are all unified that we are all this we're all here to to evolve together mm -hmm. all people have come through from different planes and galaxies that she just she always talks about it people are starting to listen to her now mm -hmm. people have said you need to do this and that she just likes to do what she does her partner often says yeah yabbering and talking and but he's good he understands he grounds her mm -hmm. He brings her back into back into looking after herself and, and being present. Mm -hmm. She can drift away. She often leaves and drifts away. She the good time in the morning she gets up and she just writes and feels. But not to be overwhelmed with it and not to just be stuck in that to to be balanced. We all need to to have that balance. We're all creative. We all express our knowing our mm -hmm. knowledge mm -hmm. through frequencies through sound through art she's constantly telling people just be yourself be authentic if we're authentic to ourselves and maintain that authenticity for ourselves and allow others to maintain theirs then the world will be a better place people will just be able to coexist and and learn every teaching everything that's ever ever existed and happened is all the same teachings and the same word and the same knowledge people need to understand that that mm -hmm. to come together and we sing the same song lines and the same words and that we all come from source we all come from one place but just to come back to that nurture our nature and nature nurture your soul and your spirit have it all aligned get in ground yourself in the earth everything you know we are all we are everything we're the earth the fire the water the air the, the ether remember it you know it be it feel it live it every day that feeling inside that knowing the intuition the higher self the source your spirit your soul it's all it's just people just have to listen to it they've just got to go with that feeling you know the signs so what are the signs that you have been giving her now what's next for her the people are coming mm -hmm. they're coming to her everything's coming the land the people the guardians the custodians are forming the circles with circles. Mm -hmm. The birds are flocking in and the wolves, the totems, the people that she sees in her life. All the people she's surrounded herself with are all the brothers and sisters and the souls from the galaxies that are all coming here to co-create these communities and to bring the world back into harmony. Mm -hmm. They know. They look at each other. They see we all know the lifetimes all the connections from the lifetimes and journeys it's amazing she she's like it's like an orchestra she's like a conductor she's just an illuminator just the, just here to say hey you know to remind us to walk in our journey but we're all coming together everyone Alva's here she's helping doing great work 
making people aware of the level of their knowledge and to step out of the game and to step out of binding contracts with souls and entities to, to release them. People like this and fire, they're all helping to heal the land. All these people she's gathered, she knows their strengths and she knows their qualities and she sees it. We're all here to help each other and we're all equally sharing this journey together. It's not about ego or competition. She surrounded herself with the light and the people that she knows it'll achieve this. People, you, you, you have this undeniable connection to each other. Mm -hmm. To go with it, to follow it. So what's next for her as far as the book is concerned? What is she supposed to be doing with that book? She's got a few books she wants to write. Mm -hmm. She knows she's just got so much. She She's just got to sit and spend time. She does that. Mm -hmm. Who's helping her with the book? Yeah. Wow. Her mother, her oh. first book, the okay. book, um, it's a kid's book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see now. Her mother, it's humorous. Mm -hmm. It's a humorous look on life. It's about owning your shit, owning your authenticity, being strong within yourself. Her mother helped her with that book. Mm -hmm. Why is it that she had to go through such difficult beginnings? Why was she put in circumstances that were so challenging for her? For her to realize that now that you can rise, you can rise through the soils of devastation and destruction, that through that darkness, mm -hmm. the light pierces in and, and you can, through that absolute emptiness, you can find the strength and love within yourself. That's through anything, absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. Have these people in her life been doing to this the same to her for the same reason in the past? Is it something that she perhaps didn't know how to handle in the past? Yeah, she just took it with love in the past always. Mm -hmm. Confusion and love, I guess it's come through in this lifetime all the anger she's had lots of anger come up in this lifetime mm -hmm. she's worked a lot on it she's worked a lot she's released a lot recently more surfaced mm -hmm. and she's been doing everything she can she knows what she needs to do with that she's got people to turn to she started working on that heavily yesterday mm -hmm. again it's just acceptance and she always says this to people and she's got to start to you know, re-embody that, that, that they don't, people, we're here for a reason and that what happened, happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they have a contract with each other? Yeah, her mother mm -hmm. and father. Mm -hmm. What was the dad connection? What was that all about? What was he supposed to be in her life? To teach her anger and fear. Mm. Why did he need to teach her anger and fear? Because she feared nothing. Mm. Did that work? Was he successful at teaching her that? Yeah, she feared, she feared, she never had control. Mm-hmm. And what about the uncle connection? Same thing, control. She needed to understand control. Mm -hmm. That you can't control everything. Okay. That when you just let it be mm -hmm. and see it as it is yes. and look at the message and everything, look at the teachings, then you realize that you always have had control. You always had a choice. 
that you choose the contracts you enter in, that she chose those. She chose that path to learn these lessons, to help her evolve. What about and she's chosen them time and time again. At, for, through, through different lifetimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't know why she needs to stop that. Can we stop that now? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you now to disconnect from those lifetimes mm-hmm. where her dad and her uncles were connected to. Let's disconnect that so that she is not affected. So I'd like for you to envision a cord connecting this lifetime to the other. I'd like, like to ask now the higher self to cut that cord and allow that cord to just dissipate away. And tell me when it's done. Can I please go to the Mm-hmm. I'm going to touch your shoulder and you can open your eyes. using your breath to just connect again. We had just disconnected from a lifetime where she was being affected by her uncle and her father. I'd like for you to look and see if there's any other lifetimes that we'd need to disconnect from that are continuously impacting her now. Are there any that are affecting her? This one keeps coming up. Mm -hmm. Native American male, 27. All right. So I'd like for you now to begin showing her that life and allowing her to go ahead and see herself in that lifetime. And just describe to me what's going on. Tell me where you are. In shame and sitting by the fire and reflection mm-hmm. for all that, all that I've done mm-hmm. to my brothers and sisters, to my tribe. Mm-hmm. What is your name, please? Mm. What do they call you? Three crow keeps coming to mind, but it can't be. I don't know how it is. Mm-hmm. Don't second guess yourself. Three crow feet. So three crow feet. How old are you there? Three crow. He's fifteen now. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you to tell me what it is that's going on there. You're sitting by the fire. Tell me more. He's been hurt. Mm-hmm. And been judged of not being worthy enough mm-hmm. of leading, of being chief. Mm-hmm. Laughed at, ostracized, made fun of. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. That's why I went on to hurt people. Mm-hmm. How did you hurt these people? Woman raped them. He raped woman. They laughed at him. Mm-hmm. Didn't think he was worthy. Family members. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. <laughs> Who were these women they raped? Grandmother, mother, sister. Mm-hmm. Brother keeps coming. Now he's just sitting in remorse and reflection. Tell me more about this life. What happens now? It just sticks out. This life, this life's 
come up the name three crow came in because i think he's the one that helped me and i found this life i'd done this in a previous life but there's something there that needs to be looked at mm -hmm. there's something there why she keeps remembering mm -hmm. um would you do a scan and see if three crow has any type of mm. connection any shadows there that are affecting him yeah mm -hmm. i think the name of this person isn't three crow but he helped her that's someone that present in her life now mm -hmm. that's a friend it's like a brother mm -hmm. but he helped so it's not the name of the body she's in this this indian it's mm -hmm. not it but he helped and there is something in there i think that there's still they changed and they helped clear that but there's still stuff in there that needs clearing let's, from this lifetime let's do a scan through that body and let's find out what's affecting this man now head shoulder feet mm -hmm. keeps coming up head left shoulder all right so which one is right the most powerful feet. one the head shoulder right knee has got some pain in there mm -hmm. and the feet all right so let's bring up first the one in the head and shoulders i'm going to bring that energy down down, 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 down. You can express yourself now. May I ask what your name John. is? John. John. How long have you been there with this man? A long, long time. Mm -hmm. What was the reason that you connected with him? Pain. I want to cause pain. All right. What was happening Anger. with you, John? Tell me about your own life. Stomach pain and cancer. Mm -hmm. So let's find out, John, how it is that you died in that lifetime. How did you die, John? Stomach pain, cancer. Mm -hmm. cancer. Oh, cancer. So what happened after you left, John, that body? Where did you go? I left it. I floated around. Mm -hmm. And how did you find this Native American? Oh, he was insecure, mm -hmm. not unworthy. Mm -hmm. So how did you affect him? I just slipped in, mm -hmm. took over, mm -hmm. what made you, him do things. What kind of things did you make hurt him people, do? people, made oh. him hurt his family. You seem very proud of that, John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make you feel better? Powerful. Mm -hmm. Because cancer disempowers you, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that that pain is still somewhere there in your heart. Mm. It is. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to feel better, John? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you, John, to look now inside of you. There's a little spark of light there. This is the light that's connected to the Creator. This is what created you. Can, t can you tell me if you find that light? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, John, I want you now to expand that light. Make it much bigger. Can you tell me how that light feels? Warm and mm -hmm. love. So, John, let's make that light as big as you are. Allow it to take over your entire essence. Tell me how that feels. Warm fuzzies. Mm -hmm. Warm tingles. All right. So now that you're feeling this warm fuzzies and tingles, how do you think about hurting people again? Does that resonate with you now? No. No. Because now, John, you're feeling the love of the Creator. You're feeling who you really are inside, mm. which is pure love. John, are you ready to go home now? Yeah. All right, so I'd like for you now to go through this, this man's body and remove all of your connection to him. Tell me where you're attached. Legs, left leg, mm. calf, mm -hmm. hip. Quite a lot. All right, so go ahead and begin removing all of your essence. Completely dissolving it with that white light. Because darkness cannot be part of the light. So dissolve all of this. And tell me when you're done, John. Remove all, all of you there. Don't leave anything behind. And tell me when you're done. Oh, 
this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Remove all of it. Very good. So now I'd like for you to go visit that last life where you had cancer. And I'd like for you to see yourself lying down, feeling what you're feeling. And I'd like for you now to use your light to begin healing that body. And tell me what it feels like as you heal that body. Love. Love. Very good. Love Very good. So what would you like to tell this man now that you are ready to leave? I'm sorry. He's scared I'm not going to go. He's scared he's not strong enough that I'm not all gone. Mm -hmm. what would you but like? it's to be okay. All okay. right. Sorry for what I've done. So I'm going to call Archangel Michael to assist you. And the angels of the white light. And I'm going to have them surround you, John. And I'd like for you to go through the top of his head and go straight to that light, that light that's within you, and tell me when you're there. Mm, going. And tell me if anybody greets you. My mother, my father, mm. my sister. How does it feel, John? Good. Very good. Now, John, are there any others that are in this man body, or was it just you? Left me. There's someone there. All right. So, someone dark. Very good. So, may the light of the universe always accompany you, John. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now that John is gone, I'm going to take my hand and bring that energy up, 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 up. Good morning. What is your name, please? Are you male or are you female? Male. Male. Mm hmm What are you doing there in this man's knee? Causing more pain and anger. Mm hmm Why are you so angry? Just angry. Mm hmm What is your name? What do they call you? I don't have to tell you. Well, in the spiritual world, there are rules. When someone asks a question, you have to answer. When I just asked you a question, what do they call you? What would you like me to call you? Lucifer comes. Ah, Lucifer. They always use that name. You see, it seems to me that whenever someone is not strong enough, they always use the name that they look for that gives them power. Do you feel very powerful using that name? Yes. Of course you do. Because you wouldn't use that name if you we're actually stronger. What's the reason that you're so angry? What made you so angry? No one listens to me. Mm -hmm. I well, need to make them scared. What did they do to you to make you so angry? They hurt me. Yeah, how did they hurt Stabbed you? Stabbed me. Where did they stab you? Chest. Mm-hmm. Are you causing these chest pains? Yes, mm -hmm. on the left side. Mm -hmm. what? Is, what did they stab you with? Knives. Knives. Who was this that did this to you? Men of color. I was colored. Mm -hmm. Men of color did this to you? 
Oh, mm. And I, I was coloured. You were coloured too. But men of a colour, we're all colours. Mm-hmm. Red, white, yellow, black. Why did they stab you? Did you make them angry? Because I was being me. Mm. They didn't like that, did they? No, they don't like it when people shine. Mm-hmm. Who were you in that life? Bob. Bob. That was what they called me, Bob. Mm -hmm. People called me. Bob, how old are you? 25. Mm-hmm. And Bob? African-American. I used to smile and sing. Mm -hmm. I brought joy to people. Mm-hmm. What did you do for a living? Just worked. Mm-hmm. Yes, I just worked. I just worked the cotton fields. Mm-hmm. Were you a slave, Bob? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. What was. year was this? I don't... 1975. Mm-hmm. No. So when they stabbed you... 1975. I don't know. When they stabbed me. Mm-hmm. So, Bob, what happened after you left that body? I hung around. Mm-hmm. Bars and pubs. Mm-hmm. Just drifted. And so how did you find this body that we're speaking through? What were the circumstances that made this body so vulnerable to you? Weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Just weak. So what did you do? How have you been affecting her? Pains. Mm-hmm. Pains where? Stabbing pains. Mm-hmm. Chest. Were you trying to be recognized? Did mm -hmm. you want her to listen to you? Mm. Just wanted to hurt her. Ah, because you were hurt. Yeah, and her head. Mm -hmm. What'd you do with her head? Give her headaches. Mm. Did you have any pains in your head? Mm. What did they do to you, Bob, besides stabbing you? Hit me with a rock in the head mm -hmm. and stabbed me. They gathered around me and they did that in a ditch and left me lying there. That's not a good way to go, is it, Bob? No. No one should be gone. No I can understand why you're so angry. Wouldn't you like to feel better, Bob? Mm -hmm. All right, so, Bob, I want you to look at that light that you have inside of you, that beautiful white light. Tell me when you find it, Bob. I've got a really uneasy pain. Oh, my tummy feels nauseous. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go ahead and remove that discomfort. I'm going to touch your shoulder and allow that to dissipate. Bob, I want you to go ahead and make that white light bigger. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? Make it even bigger, Bob. Make it so big that if someone saw it, they needed to put sunglasses on. Make it as bright as a star, as bright as the sun. How does that feel? Yeah, good, ma'am. Yes, very good. Mm-hmm. So, is there any reason to be angry now? No. Mm-hmm. What does it feel like to be shining as a star? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. You can feel this way all the time by going back to your source, to the Creator. So, Bob, begin pulling out all of those sensations. Mm. Disconnect all of your essence from her. And tell me when you have it all. Don't leave anything inside.
pull it all out, shine that white light, and tell me when you have it all, Bob, remove it from her body. Don't leave anything connected. This is like hooks in my stomach and my breast. Mm -hmm. It's really painful. Who is that from? Is that from Bob? I don't know. It's just painful. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go ahead and see yourself going into your mouth, making yourself tiny, tiny, tiny. And let's go into your stomach and tell me what's in there. What do you see in there? Much darkness. All right. Does that belong to Bob? I don't know. Mm hmm. I just. My left knee's going weird again. Mm hmm. Bob, are you pulling everything out from her? No, not all. Mm -hmm. So, Marama, I want you to go inside and use the fire hose of white light, and let's dissolve all of that dark stuff inside. Yeah. Go ahead and use that, and you can use water too, whatever is going to take it, and just begin dissolving all of that. Connect your hose to that heart, and begin pumping that white light. Tell me how that feels as you pump it. Mm -hmm. Don't leave anything behind. You can go down to your knee now and make sure that your knee is completely white. No dark spots. Use that fire hose of white light to get rid of any dark spots. And tell me when you're done. And while you're doing that, Marama, I'm going to ask Bob to go back to that lifetime when he was being stabbed and when he was left in that ditch. Bob, I want you to go back there and tell me what that body looks like. What does that body look like? Alone. Mm -hmm. So now, Bob, I want you to use that white light from inside of you and direct it at that poor body. And I want you to go ahead and begin healing that body. Begin healing the head from where the rock hit you. Begin healing the stabbing. Go through that body and heal all of the wounds. And tell me what, what you feel when you do that. Love and compassion. Wonderful. So with that love and compassion, I'd like for you to go ahead to the top of her head, and Archangel Michael is there. He's going to take you by the hand and take you straight back to Source, to the love of the Creator. And tell me when you get there, Bob. Yeah. Wonderful. Is there anybody there to greet you? My brothers and sisters. Wonderful. Bob, may the light of the universe accompany you always. Thank you very much. And I'd like to speak with the higher self and let me know how her body looks now. That's good. It's looking better. Very good. So I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael, the healer, to begin putting his beautiful light her entire body, beginning at the feet and spreading it upwards, feeling the sensation of healing every cell in your body, filling those spaces that were occupied by these other entities with a beautiful healing light, like a salve, healing all of it. And as Raphael is healing the body, I'd like to ask the higher self 
If you have any other information for Marama today, she was curious about her date of birth. Two a.m., like she was told. Two a.m. Yesterday. Mm-hmm. Her spirit. She asked. Mm-hmm. Very good. Stop. Just trust. Very just good. Just trust everything that comes. Good. We tell you stuff when you say it. Just trust. Wonderful. Just comes out. Can you tell her who her guides are at this time? Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. Are there any others besides Mother Mary? Kornian's been with her. Mm -hmm. She knows that. Mm -hmm. Do they have any words for her today? Love and compassion. Mm -hmm. Just unconditional love. Just to continue just to continue her journey in that, showing people. She talks about it all the time, and loving yourself. Mm -hmm. You love all when you truly, truly love yourself and accept it all. You understand, just to keep on her path. Very good. She needs to just accept. Sometimes she speaks and she doesn't know where it's coming from. Just accept, just allow the knowledge to flow. Mm -hmm. She's always writing that. Just allow, and this is what people need to do, is allow the knowledge to flow forth and just to remember. You have all of that within you. And the more that you just sit and be and allow things to take place and to flow, Your purpose will unfold, and just to do that, just just be. Very good. Don't be distracted by anyone else's views of you or anyone else's ideals that they push upon you. You know, just to truly allow yourself to be, and then it, it'll just happen. It'll flow. She's on her own, her own journey. Mm -hmm. With many others, we're doing that. They're connecting. Very good. She had talked to me about sinus inflammation. Why does she have sinus inflammation? Too much pressure on herself. Mm -hmm. She used to pressure herself to do things and to want to excel, to feel a state of worthiness. But she doesn't need to do that. So we, can we begin today with the healing of her sinuses, allowing yeah. all of that to subside? All she needs that. to stop. She's been having dairy lately and she knows it's naughty. It's not mm -hmm. good for her. She, and she says, one more last piece. But mm -hmm. no, she even knows. She learned a lot of good stuff from Sarah. Mm -hmm. Helped her and taught her how to make good, good healthy food. Mm -hmm. And she's grateful of that. But she needs to start walking that. And she knows that dairy's always been bad for her. But she's just got to stop. Are there any other things that she should tend to as far as her diet or exercise anything like that her body yeah well she's she's started to trial and eating meat again lately and she knows how it doesn't sit with her bread does not sit with her and many other people mm -hmm. um but but not to not to overthink it. You know what's right for you. We all know that. We all, but to whatever you eat, to have gratitude and to be, be grateful and to acknowledge whatever it is that you are consuming, mm -hmm. whether it be thought or any experience in life, the food, anything, just the feeling, the sensations, whatever you're consuming, to do it with pure intentions and gratitude and knowledge. This is this is all we need to do is to come from that pure, pure space, the space of source of the creation from us. Just just to come with love and acknowledge that you know the thought is more powerful than anything. Mm -hmm. The thought creates the physical. So she knows this, but you know sometimes. She has this, she talks about this feeling in her back. That's us, just to just do it. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes she'll be doing things and just don't tell, just trust. Moy tells her this all the time. Just trust. So does she have anything else going on in her body today? She's got a little pain in her left, on her uterus. Mm-hmm. Can you tell me what that is? Stubbornness. Mm-hmm. What is that all about? Is that what's manifesting there? Is that an energy she created, or is that some friend? It's something she needs to learn, just stubbornness. Mm-hmm. It's good to be focused, but stubborn, she doesn't need it. Okay, can you remove that from her, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. Would you tell me the reason why you brought her here today? To help the world to teach people, just to come back. Come back to unity, mm-hmm. to love. She talks about this, putting mm-hmm. unity back in the community. To come together, we're all here, we're all awakening. Mm-hmm. Some some faster than others, but everyone's journey is important and no one's is lesser or greater. She, that's what people need to realize is we're all equal. We're all here, we're all here to play a part. We're all here to reconnect and reunite. Our souls have been separated and brought back again. We're all one. Mm-hmm. Just, just allow yourself to be. Allow yourself the time, the space to just be, to be present. We need, as a conscious collective, to be present in everything that we do. When you're present, all the knowledge and information flows, you see it all. Mm-hmm. You know, be present in what you're doing. And in doing doing the things you love to do that that activate that heart space, that love. So right now she is uh, on a different journey of doing hypnosis for people, doing the Dolores Cannon method of quantum healing hypnosis. Can you tell her why she was brought to that? To meet Elba. <laughs> Yeah, she looked, She heard about Dolores and, mm-hmm. and practitioners, but to bring Alba here because Alba's evolved, you know, and Alba's walking in her own path and we need to all do that. Dolores had a lot of good... She brought it to light, but... How do we say this? Everything evolves and people learn and change. And what Alba does is is beautiful. She helps people. She, she's enabled people in the world to awaken in rapid numbers. People are coming to and will continue. And it's important that she uploads this, this information, all of it, mm-hmm. and that people allow her to do this because it allows people to find their journey and purpose. And and to walk in their truth and to connect, Mm -hmm. to see that we are all, we all have a part that no matter how horrible or horrific or disgusting we may feel at the acts upon others, that we have all made the choice to do this. We've all entered these contracts for a reason to learn but to see past that to see past it to see to see the lesson look for you know to see that peter told her something once to not to look not to the person or to the lesson She's got it written down somewhere. Mm -hmm. His last message, Peter was a great person. He was an enlightened soul that taught many and walked on this earth. She's got it written somewhere. She keeps it hidden very close and she she shares it a lot with people. His last email that he wrote her, before he transcended, she knew this, that he was preparing to leave. It's a very important important teaching very good 
Do you have anything else to tell her today? Just go forth with love, just unconditional love. You are love. Thank we you. All are. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Wow. How do you feel? Yeah, wow. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going under. I'm not. Whoa. <laughs> so tell me what had happened after the bathroom. Yeah, I always go to the bathroom. It's like I get rid of stuff. Yeah, it's a release. Download, yeah. yeah. It's a release. But I felt deeper. Mm -hmm. um, Each time. Yeah, mm -hmm. deeper and deeper. That's why they do that. They get you. Yeah, you. and it just comes out. It just, you know, at the start first I felt like, oh, you can feel your conscious mind, but then it just goes and it let goes and then you just can't stop. It's like <laughs> just all this information comes. Mm -hmm. I feel sometimes when I'm writing it does that and when I speak to people, now I feel... Now you know it's your higher self. Yeah, a lot of times I'll be talking and then it'll come through. Yeah. That I feel... I don't feel scared anymore of it. That's your higher self. Yeah, to That's not feel. Been, yeah. And I feel safe and grounded and secure enough to know that, yeah, that I don't need to doubt it and that no one's going to think you're crazy and to lock you up or anything. <laughs> Gosh. It's great. Do you want to share this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because... Yeah. A lot of people in my life are doing this stuff yeah. now, like you and every... I've got every Wednesday, I've gathered these amazing women and now men are joining mm. that are all... Oh, they're all in doing stuff. Well, we can tell everybody about it now. Yeah. Totally. Here we go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is wonderful. Well, wonderful. So, I am in Coolum Beach, Australia. And this woman got me all the way from Miami to here. Nick Minute, Australia. Isn't that something? <laughs> yeah. So tell me why you had this session. Tell everybody what you were getting at, what you wanted to get from it. Oh, um, that this is powerful and this needs to be done. <laughs> yeah. That what I was doing is uh, awakening mm -hmm. the spirit and soul mm -hmm. and, and helping to align the purpose and journey of people yeah. in that we all have a purpose and a reason and we're here to, to play out that and live out that yeah. and evolve. That's right. And um, to not hesitate. When something feels right, even if it's calling Alba out of the blue, <laughs> hey, come on down. You just got to Come on it. down under. <laughs> if it feels right, yeah, it is right. And now you have been doing hypnosis on others. Mm. Yeah. How did it feel differently being on the receiving end. <laughs> yeah, great. I was thinking, oh, be like my partner was my first. Oh, he's not going to go under. Yeah. I won't. But I yeah. did. Yeah. It, I just, to just trust. Yeah. Um, you know when people are coming from pure intentions. Right, right. You have that feeling. And um, Alba has that. She's got a good space. And, um, and it felt amazing. It was, at first, you could feel yourself the conscious mind coming in, the mm -hmm. analytical, yes, the um, executive brain, which uh, overanalyzes stuff, <laughs> uh, just to push that aside and to be yeah. in that, that middle path between both because mm -hmm. when you're in between both, you're in porno and connection, you're yeah. in your, and then it just comes. You just yeah. Well, you were stop. you were taken out to go to the bathroom mm. twice. Mm. What, what, what do you feel happened after you came back? I mean, deeper. It's like I release, and I know that with me too, and a lot of friends. Like mm -hmm. that's a, the physical releasing, the mm -hmm. meta, the, yeah. the the what your body's processing. Mm -hmm. In um, yeah, and came back deeper, and each time right. I came back, I went. It just comes out. So if you're thinking of having a hypnosis session, but you're afraid that you're going to be interrupted and have to use the bathroom, please don't, because you're not going to be taken out 
of your hypnotic state. You're still in a trance when you're in the bathroom. You really know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, hypnosis is not like sleepwalking or anything. You, you are very conscious of what you're doing. You come back, you're still in trance, you go right back in even deeper. So mm -hmm. if you're even hesitating because of that, don't worry about it. Noise is another issue. Um, a lot of people are afraid that they're not going to go under you're really not going under we're down under but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're going we're going into trance but the fact is that even noises around you are normal these are normal things mm -hmm. and they they're not going to bother you at all as long as you listen to the hypnotist voice it'll be fine it is I just on a note like i heard a noise outside mm -hmm. and i started to worry about it but then it didn't you know mm -hmm. it didn't matter yeah my last time i went to the toilet i felt very much awake and aware mm -hmm. but then when i came in was the deepest <laughs> moment i've ever it's just stuff just come yeah. out but it's things it's like a confirmation i really feel that before coming in here and it's a confirmation of what we know mm -hmm. sometimes it's a kick up the bum to do what we should do that's right to allow ourselves to that's heal right. and to acknowledge stuff mm -hmm. that needs to be addressed and work on it so how can they find you to get a hypnosis session oh he he. Um, <laughs> Uh, Facebook me. <laughs> tell, tell them, uh, tell them um, where to look for. Um, oh, wow, put on it. Um, Mara Makaki, M A R A M A. Um, and then my last name is Kake, K A K E. Mm -hmm. Um, like Alba, I've learned and uh, on my own journey, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, messenger me. Um, yeah. Just just be mindful that I'm very open and transparent person. <laughs> uh, don't hide nothing. And um, that when you message me, tell me a bit about yourself. I, you know, I, one thing I just want to honor here is that whatever path you walk in, whatever realm, whatever dimension, mm -hmm. cyber or physical or an astral plane, um, do it with pure intentions and transparency. When mm -hmm. you're transparent, it brings honesty and accountability mm -hmm. so quite often we have people you not to hold judgment against people online and to speak your truth you know mm -hmm. and uh yeah that's really important you know yeah. sometimes people come to me and we understand that you, you want to hide stuff which is fine but um in that cyber realm you know just just be open mm -hmm. when you approach someone just i suppose on that note because a lot of people get requests mm -hmm. that are computer generated so yeah just mm -hmm. just keep it real that's it that's right so we yeah and if you want a session with me you can go to my website albaweinman.com um i am out of miami but i travel the world yeah and as you can see <laughs> she brought me here and uh you know, just sign up for my newsletter it's on the out of town page you can sign up and i will tell you where i'm going to next as soon as you see your city, be there. Sign up immediately, and uh, the slots go so fast, probably mm. within minutes. So you, as soon as the email comes in, sign up for it. And I hope I get to see you sometime soon. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, oh, you're amazing. Mm.